before we dive into some of the changes with Machinist in 6.0 Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, it's important to note that all of these details come from third-party websites. I didn't attend any kind of media event, and all of this stuff is from Gamerscape and others' impressions. Also, all of this information is subject to change depending on uh, the changes that Machinist may go through between now and the release of Endwalker on November 19th. Machinist, of course, went through a large overhaul uh, with 5.0 Shadowbringers, and the version of Machinist that those who attended the media tour played um, in the last couple weeks builds on all of the fundamentals that we have come to expect from Machinist. So obviously it's still a ranged DPS. It's still focused on being a quote-unquote selfish DPS. So uh, party mitigation and party buffs aren't really on the table except for tactician. And uh, the core rotation, uh, including building your heat and uh, then expending that during a wildfire window and also using your battery gauge smartly to summon robot during uh, raid buff windows uh, still applies as far as we can tell. One of the first changes that we noticed in the job actions trailer was that uh, reassemble, which gives you guaranteed direct crit or critical and direct hit on a single weapon skill within four seconds of use, now has two charges. In the context of uh, like raid openers and stuff, I'm not a theory crafter, so I can't really say where you'd use this. Um, you know, instinct would tell me that you would, you know, on open use one charge, uh, use drill, use another charge, and probably use either your new weapon skill, which is chainsaw, or use uh, air anchor. Uh, I'm not sure which one would be more effective. Again, I'm not a theory crafter. Uh, but it does give you quite a potency increase, uh, even using the Shadowbringers opener. The next big uh, change for Machinist is the level 90 skill, Chainsaw. Uh, it gives you 20 battery gauge up front and delivers a, an attack potency of 550 for the first enemy and 65% remaining for other enemies. It's a line AoE. Um, again, I'm not a theory crafter. I don't know how this will fit into the opener, but I could see a scenario where, like, you do 1, 2, 3, you get 10, you do chainsaw you get 20 and then air anchor and then you'd have enough for a robot next we need to talk about uh changes to machinist aoe kit unfortunately uh, they didn't really give us um auto crossbow returning uh, ricochet charges which is a small quality of life change uh, that i would like to see with the job but one thing we did get was a spread shot it is now uh, changed to scatter gun which is the shotgun we saw machinist pull out in the job actions trailer. So any content that's 82 or above, uh, your machinist will now point, pull out a literal shotgun and uh, provide AOE, but also and instead of five heat, it provides 10. So uh, AOEing with a uh, scatter gun will be better for building up your heat gauge than old spread shot. Plus kind of old spread shot really did look bad. To be honest, it sounded bad. It sounded like a squeaky gun, like a toy. Um, the other thing is a brand new finisher for the robot, and this will happen automatically before the Automata Queen shuts down. Uh, this uh, finisher will happen. You can also uh, do it manually by pressing the button, uh, just like you can the current finisher. So that's all the changes to Machinist for 6.0 and Walker. What did you think? Do you think that the job was already a steady base and now we're getting much needed improvements? Are you looking forward to the new skills? Let me know. I'm going to do a few videos on a couple other classes, Red Mage and Gunbreaker, later on in the month.